here there is one more operation that we see which is called an absurd operation okay notice this absurd operation this absurd operation is very similar to an update or an insert operation but it is i would say uh, you know kind of a combination of both these okay so it's not a simple update or a simple insert operation it is a combination of uh, insert and update okay now how does it work let's quickly understand so this is more of a concept that you have to understand here so how how an absurd operation works so in an absurd operation it's basically this absurd word comes from upset uh, update insert update plus insert okay now what does this operation do it will search for the records if it finds the records in the system it will update the records if it does not find the record in the system it will insert the record so it is going to be two in one operation for you which can perform both the things okay now when do you need this let, let's talk about as you know simple scenario let me give you a simple scenario so that you can understand uh, you you run a company which is called uh, wisden okay now wisden basically buys data from a vendor okay and every month i get 10000 new records okay every month i get 10000 records um let's say leads for that matter every month i get 10000 leads from a vendor okay now what happens when i'm getting the leads from the vendor i take that file and i insert those records in my salesforce so that my uh, sales team can actually access those leads and they can start working on it now just you know think about it is there a possibility that the file that i got this month may have some records which were already part of my previous uh, you know previous data which i have received from them out of 10000 is there a possibility that you know say a uh, small chunk of it say 400 500 records are the ones which we already received last month or last to last month or any time earlier there's a possibility for that right so now if i just do an insert now what operation do you do you know with this 10000 records every time this 10000 okay so if you do an insert operation what will happen if i do an insert operation what is what is that uh, you know will happen 10000 records will get created every time okay 10000 records will get created and uh, it will be you know there will be duplicates okay now you may now say that okay fine let us go ahead and do some sort of a check on duplicates find out duplicates and then you know once i know which all are the duplicate then do an update operation for duplicate records let's say i define a process that okay find duplicates then let's say you found 200 duplicate records now you do a update for 200 duplicate records and insert for the remaining 9800 new records okay this is a, this is something which you can do this is ideal okay this is what it should be done but now don't you think this seems to be a little long process because first of all you'll have to you know check some based on some criteria find out duplicate records and then you know 
perform two different operations one for update operation which means prepare two different files then you know process those two, two different uh, files separately becomes a little difficult right slightly time consuming this is the process which is a correct process but this is going to be slightly time consuming so now this is where i need an operation which is smart enough to figure understand that okay this record is already in the system and this record is not in the system okay and if it can check that based on any other field then i can simply use this absurd operation to update the records which are in the system and insert the records which are not there in the system make sense so this is where an absurd operation can replace this long activity okay that is the thing so that's what an absurd operation does now small thing about an absurd operation that we have to understand now since we are doing an absurd operation since we want to check you know if the record is already there in the in the system or not that check has to happen based on some field right the check needs to happen based on some field right some criteria based on some criteria you have to check whether the record is there in the system or not which field can we use for identifying matching records which field do we use in case of an absurd update operation for an update operation which field do we use to identify the records in the system in a, in case of an update operation we use id now in case of an absurd operation also you can use an id id can be used but the question is since you are loading the data first time this this is a this is the file which has come from the vendor 10000 records this file does not have ids will it have your salesforce.com ids no right it is coming from a vendor or it is coming from an external system so will i have ids for uh, these records the answer is a simple no then what do i do then how do i do you know perform the absurd operation so you can use id technically it is allowed but functionally if you look at it you know it does not make too much of a sense for me to use an id for an absurd operation let me you know tell you another thing if i have an id of a salesforce record when does the id get generated for salesforce records when the records get created in salesforce right so if you have the salesforce.com id of a record don't you think then you know you know that this record is already in the system then why would you do an absurd operation then you can simply go and do an update operation for those records no correct so though technically allowed but you know if if you try and understand it logically if i have an id of a record i definitely know that that record is there in the system then i don't need an absurd operation then i can simply go ahead and you know do an update operation right so in case of an absurd operation i need to work with some other field which can act as an id but not actually the salesforce.com id it has to be some other id a custom id field which can be used and that's where you can use an external id field so you know while talking about you know building the data model and all we spoke about an external id field so any field which is marked as an external id field when you create a field you have the option of you know checking the field as an external id field any field that is marked as an external id field can also be used for performing the absurd operation maybe now just just for your you know understanding the in this list of leads which i am getting i want to use uh, use the lead email as external id okay you can have any other you know external id field that's okay you can create your own external id field let's say uh, you know when you are getting uh, the data from that other system that system maintains some id you can use that id you can store that in your salesforce and that can be used or any other field let's say name of the lead first name last name of the lead extra email of the lead whatever 
okay but you have to make sure that you know the field that you create here in salesforce that field needs to be marked as an external id field so if you have the field marked as an external id field then you will be able to do the absurd operation using that particular field okay that makes things simpler for us so now what i can do i can basically go ahead and perform my absurd operation using an id which is not that useful though this option is available but this is not that useful uh, and the other option is of course we can do that using an external id field which will be more useful so you know this external id field you can create and you can decide you know which field can act as an external id field let's say the file that i'm getting from the vendor that has got an id field i can retain those ids also in salesforce that can act as an external id or any other field that you want and then based on that you perform your absurd operation okay so now any matching emails it will get update the record uh, any new email it will create the record one single operation it will do the job for us that's all we'll discuss in this video thanks for watching for more videos in this series you can look for the link in description below or visit my website goodbye and take care